What's up guys, it's Luciano here, and welcome back to another video. This is going to be my post-game reaction to LSU's 95-60 win over Lipscomb in college basketball. Uh, the game just concluded. But before I get into the video, uh, on this channel I do a lot of college football and college basketball uh, sports talk, like giving my opinions on breaking news, um, as well as more in-depth videos on LSU specifically because I am an LSU fan, go Tigers. Uh, and I also bring you guys some gaming videos as well. So a lot of variety on this channel um, Pertaining to college football and college basketball uh, and then gaming uh, So I like to call this like a sports slash gaming channel uh, Just my two passions put into one channel. So if that intrigues you guys, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and Yeah, come along for the journey. Anyways, let's get into this video. So um, my initial thoughts on LSU's win over Lipscomb is that we got off to a better start than what we usually do. Um, the, the glaring thing that jumps out to me is that we shot the ball from three extremely well. Uh, what were we? I think we had 12 threes. Let me just make sure on that. We were 12 of 22 uh, from three point land, which is amazing compared to how we've been playing. I mean, it's amazing regardless. Uh, we did shoot 53% from the field uh, all night long in total, and they shot just 39%. Uh, we shot horrible from the free throw line. 3 of 10, that needs to get better. We had guys missing free throws that usually don't, like Eric Gaines, Alex Fudge. I mean, that just that can't happen. We gotta make free throws. Um, we out-rebounded Lipscomb by 16. We had 14 offensive rebounds. And, I mean, that's just incredible. 15 steals. <laughs> we forced 22 turnovers. We only had 14 ourselves, but the majority of them came in the second half, I do believe. 17 team fouls. And not one time did Lipscomb lead in this game. Uh, so, the big thing was... The news like, came right before the game that Tari Eason would not be playing in this game due to a little injury... Uh, it had been bothering him the last few days, according to Will Wade, and just pre-game, like a few hours before pre-game, he decided that he wouldn't be able to play. Tari Eason did, that is. Um, but it's big that we can go out and score 95 points, regardless of who the opponent is, because Tari Eason was our leading scorer on the team. He averaged about, what, 16 or so points a game, but... Regardless of, regardless of who the opponent is, it's big that you can go out and score 95 points without your leading scorer. Darius Day stepped up big time for us. Efton Reed stepped up. We had, we had six guys in double figures. Uh, let me go ahead and read off some of the stats for LSU. Um, all the starters had double digits. Penson had 17. Uh, Murray had 13, Reed had 12, Darius Days with 21, with 5 threes on the night. Uh, Wilkinson had 11. Uh, off the bench, Gaines had 13, Fudge had 8, and that is it for the scoring. So it is nice to see that we can get some offense without Tari Eason on the floor, because recently, you know, when Tari Eason has not been in the game, because Tari Eason plays starter minutes, he's just not a starter. Uh, but recently, we've been having trouble scoring without Easton on the floor. Like, as soon as Easton would come in, we'd have a jump on offense, like a jump start. So, it's nice to see we can go out there and score a lot of points without him. And also, in the first half, we had a pretty sizable lead. We were up by 24 at halftime, and we didn't force that many turnovers. We didn't have that many steals in the first half, but we were still... Our defense was still hanging in there, and we were still scoring points. We still had a pretty good lead going into the half. So, that's nice to see. Now, this was our last non-conference game. Uh, after this, we don't play until next Wednesday, so we have a week off. And then we are going to be playing Auburn. And I believe that is on the road. Um, yes, it is. It's at Auburn. Auburn has a week off as well. So, both LSU and Auburn have a week off before they play each other. Uh, depending on how the rankings come out, Auburn could be a top 10 team. They're sitting at number 12 right now. We might be top 15. We're at 17. And, yeah, next Wednesday, LSU-Auburn. Man, that's going to be a monster game, man. I can't wait for it. Uh, I gotta say I'm a little bit nervous. 
not going to lie to you. I'm a little bit nervous. Um, but, you know, defense is something that carries. It's going to be our first true road game. Defense carries. You know, it's always harder to score points when you go on the road. It's harder to be a good offensive team on the road. Um, but defense, defense travels. Uh, so that's definitely in our advantage. But yeah, it's nice to be 12-0. It's nice to have, you know, almost a complete game. You know, our defense could have been a little bit better tonight. It wasn't up to its usual, uh, typical standard, I guess you could say. But it's nice to be 12-0. 12-0 going into conference play. So, man, you know Auburn's going to want to beat us. You know they're going to want to end that streak. The undefeated streak. LSU is now one of five undefeated teams as Tennessee beat Arizona today. So, yep. The real season starts now. <laughs> SEC play is here. And I cannot wait for it. We have a tough first seven games as six of the seven teams are ranked. And the one team that isn't is Florida. So, but not to say Florida isn't a good team. But yeah, that's my reaction to this game. It's a good win for LSU. Played good offensively. We made our threes. Um, we scored a lot of points without Tari Eason. So, yep, I, I take that as a positive. I mean, we won by 35 points. So, of course it is. 12-0. Uh, going into Auburn. So, let's get it. Anyways, that'll do it for this video. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe for more content like this. And yeah, I will catch you guys in the next one.